What's happening, Captain? I'm comparing this Hoopa Color Light Meter with the Paji Instruments Light Meter to confirm accuracy and consistency. This is very important for a YouTube channel as you cannot measure with just one device as I've seen elsewhere. You're not going to know if the sensor is actually accurate or if the sensor drifted over time. So here I have the Sansi Light Grow Bulb at 12 inches distance. It should measure around 265 micromoles meter squared per second. So I'm going to turn on this device and see what it measures. But let me grab the screen first so you can see the live readings. Let me turn on the bulb and we will see the measurements. It's measuring 289 micromoles meter squared per second. So it's pretty close to the 265 micromoles meter squared per second. It measured more energy as this meter sensor goes beyond the normal PPFD spectrum. Let me go ahead and turn that off. As you can see, the sensor goes right back down. It reads a little bit of a number because of background noise. Now I'm going to move these items out of the way so we can test the Hoopa color sensor and see if it gives us a similar reading. Now this sensor takes multiple measurements and I'm going to stop it once I feel I got a good reading, turning on the bulb and let's see what we have here. So the PFD for this device, we're just going to add the top three rows together and we're going to get 287 micromoles per meter squared per second. So I've been going back and forth using the Hoopa Color and comparing it with the Apogee Instruments to see what I like more. And this Hoopa Color is definitely more accurate. This Apogee meter is meant more for plant growth, but it's all the same photons. Now PFD is for plants. It's not what I normally use for light therapy, which is milliwatts per centimeter squared. But there's so many units and I just went with this one because it's just easier to show on the same screen. Thanks for watching and uh, let me know if you have any questions.